Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. Uh, please don't forget to smash the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're there. Press the little bell wherever it is next to the subscribe button. That lets you know when I'm back on again. Doesn't cost you anything, just lets me know that you're there. Um, you've caught me today. Um, can't load till tomorrow. So, I'm going to have a bit of a jolly. Uh, two ways up to the place I'm going. I'm loading wine in that Arioca, um, but it's not ready till seven o'clock in the morning. So we've been, I'm empty now. So I could go that way, which is boring, normal road, or that way, which is a bit more interesting and only ten minutes longer. So um, we'll have a bit of an adventure. I'll put it on the map, and then you can see. Um, it's a lovely place, but um, you never used to be able to go up there, so yeah, nice. Don't forget to smash, subscribe, like and all that, carry on, thank you. So I just put this in the sat-nav and as you can see, it's only one minute extra going the scenic route and it's actually shorter in miles. The interesting bit, which is what I'm going to show you, goes through this natural par national park between Soroya and Lugrono. It's, as you can see by the satellite, it's very green and it's, it's you can just about see the road there. So off we go. So we're just the other side of Soroya. Up to Soroya, it's mostly dual carriageway now, um, all the way up to Soroya and then you go round the ring road and now we're on the other side. Um, wouldn't normally do this trip in the winter. You'll see the uh, marker poles for the snow on the right in a minute. Um, it's very high up, it gets very cold, very, there you go, it gets very high up, I knew they were up here somewhere, very cold, um, very snowy up here and it really is a, um, a national park so it's, it's a beautiful place. Scenery is stunning and what they've done is um, built a tunnel. The first, I have been up here before they built the tunnel and um, the tunnel's only been finished maybe five years, something like that, four years even, and um, um, I mean it's quite a long tunnel as you'll see, but it's it's going straight through the mountain. Um, before the tunnel was there you had to come off, just in a minute you have to, you have to come off and then go up and round and it was a bit windy, but which is fine when you're empty, that's the old road there as you can see, um, it goes up and over the top. Fine when you're empty, but it's um, it wouldn't be a shortcut when you're loaded and even now it's still a big climb up you're still climbing up all the way up here and um, again fine when you're empty as I am but um, the views are stunning and anybody that's got a motorbike this is the way to go and uh, that's where I would be going I know that and then you, we come up and we come up to the big tunnel so it's all new and everything um, one, like I said before in the other videos, is uh, one of the things that Spanish does do is make a good tunnel, and that's how deep it is into the tunnel. straight through the middle of the mountain. It is really amazing what they can do with technology nowadays um, and that's an awful big drill that they've had to go through there. It's, to think that all that soil is above you is actually um, quite amazing, quite scary. As you can see it's not a very busy road, um, it 
it's, it's very much a, a touristy scenic route. The locals use it. Just, um, you'll, you'll see a lot of uh, local lorries coming backwards and forwards on it. Um, but it, it, it wouldn't be a main road. And then it, it, coming out, it's, it's quite bright when you come out. Oh, oh, let's slow down. Hang on, hang on. What's going on here? Oh, resurfacing right at the, on the exit of the tunnel and right at the top of the hill coming the other way. That's Sandy. Uh, look at that view. It's uh, just You just feel like you could reach out and touch those mountains. This is the best thing about my job, is that you get, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, let's just try and beat all the rest of the traffic then. No counting for some. Just, just wait for the traffic. What are you doing? Numb nuts. There you go. Anyway, um, you can see it all in my job. <laughs> but the best thing about it is you do get to see the Orlis. And we are going into La Rioja. Um, well, no wonder he didn't go past. That's what. <laughs> They're directing the traffic and he just wants to beat everybody. Let's quality driving, eh? still look how close he is to him and you just think where are you going to go what is it going to make it any quicker if you're late for work you should have got up earlier but and there's the little man with his flag waving the traffic you just wonder where they got their licenses from some of them lucky bag anyway enough of my my lorry driver moaning get all downhill from now um some really nice bends as long as the numpty in front doesn't do anything stupid, it's obviously in a hurry. Look at him. He just, we just, we'll just stay back and and uh, let him carry on. So uh, enjoy the view, and uh, it's uh, one of the one of the interesting roads that I go on. Passing you by, you counting by the minute, losing and you're winning, always feeling one step behind. And you're working every I got sense, and you're burning the cannibal fans. You try to earn a living, but everything you're giving is getting thrown back in your face. Oh, I hear you say the same thing every day. A risk you gotta take it It's all about the leap of faith Oh, I used to say Same thing every day But not anymore There's a much better way
Stand up, stand out, you know what I mean. Get up, get out your way.
like I said, one of my favourite bit of roads. It is longer, but I didn't want to bore you too much. Um, you come through some little villages. It's a little bit tight. Um, look at fancy living up there. Um, when you come down, there is little hotels and things, bars, and road works. Um, But um, I don't think everything's open at the moment because of the COVID and everything, but well worth a visit, well worth bringing your motorbike up this road. Um, it's just so pretty. A bit tight in the lorry, I know. Not probably the best of places for me to go. This is the street, spring water that comes out of the mountains. All those springs are all the way along this road, so you'll never go dry. Nearly at the bottom, uh, just uh, head towards Lagrano. And um, hopefully we should pick up the, uh, we've got a little bit of motorway to go on which you don't want to be bored with the motorway. So I'll, uh, I'll put the rest when we get to, um, oh, local one, local one coming towards me. Uh, we'll avoid him and uh, let's make out and see if we can get into Glorioca in one piece and see what the wineries are down that way. So I cut the motorway bit out, you don't want to watch that, it's, it's uh, motorway is a motorway in any country, <laughs> so you don't want to watch that. This is Harrow, H-A-R-O, it is, which is probably pronounced Arrow, because they don't pronounce the H's in Spanish, do they? It's probably Arrow. Anyway, it's the, it's, it's billed as the capital of La Rioja wine. There's a lot of wineries around here, I think you can visit them, there's probably a tour around most of them. Um, but it does actually, when you come in, it, the sign we just passed um, does actually say Harrow, capital of Rioja. Um, but actually, the one that we're going to, if I remember rightly, it's actually in Pays Basque. It's just the other side of the um, of the, the, the border, if you see what I mean, into the different area. In all these that the, you can see um, that we're going past, that's the way to do it on a motorbike. All these are um, uh, wineries that we go past. Um, you can see the the grape vines run for miles and miles and miles into the distance. That's all you can see in this area for miles and miles. All these are wineries that you go past, big, small. Um, red, white, whatever sort of wine you like. I, I don't like wine, I must admit, don't like wine. I, it all tastes like vinegar to me. I'm sure there are people out there that are, are, are tut tutting at me, but no, um, not a wine person at all. Um, but uh, some of them are really, really old places, really old. They're always nice people at these wineries. I think they. it's one of the few times they like um, uh, seeing English people in Spain is because they, they don't like it going on to the, uh, the um, former Eastern European block drivers because I think it disappears train what the train's for must be an old train um, train oh horse thing very pretty um, but we'll uh, see, see this is the this is the thing about my job I get to see all sorts of stuff never actually stop in one place long to find out what it's for but i get to see it you know <laughs> if i get it come next time i can ask the locals but uh, you'll see left and right everywhere up into the mountains absolutely everywhere are um vines of one color or another now if i remember right the place we want is not far up here just go along and see if we can find it. Miles and miles. 
jaws of grapes as far as the eye can see right up that mountain over there right out into the fields as far as the eye can see that's all there is here grapevines everywhere This is a family winery we're going to. These are their fields. Um, I managed to stop outside. Yay! And there's our there's our grapes that are going to make our wine. Part right outside the door, just waiting to go in to load. That's how they grow. If you didn't know how grapes grow, that's how they grow. Now, um, I've backed it on a bay, I'm not really supposed to be taking pictures here because they're all very secretive about their wine and, um, and it's, it's a very important job. There we are loading them, just trying to do a bit of secret filming. Got to load it off the headboard because um, it's not a full load, it's only 20 pallets and we don't need the, the weight all at the front. Um, nice enough people but just can't uh, do much filming, undercover. Well, we're all loaded. We're, I'm, I've sealed it all up, locks on, um, customs paperwork, everything. Couldn't, um, couldn't film it. Like I said, they're all very uh, um, protective about what goes on in their places. I have absolutely no idea, and I can't say that. Even when I get it given free, I usually end up giving it away. I definitely don't drink it. I can tell you that much. I definitely don't drink it. <laughs> Maybe save it for Christmas presents. If anybody gets a Christmas present off me, it's a bottle of wine. It's probably I've had it free because I don't drink it. I'm not quite sure what the it's been an old train from it must have been a long time ago. So there we are, that's that loaded. Um coming back out now and we'll head north um up through France back towards the UK. Hope you enjoyed that little bit. I'll keep it going and uh, we'll see how we get on in France. Hello, hello. Now we have a bit of a problem. This is my bush mechanics for you. We have a bit of a problem. We have a blowout. We have a blowout. So, <laughs> we have a blowout on my sandal. The trainer thingy. So, this is going to be. This is a bit of. Put you there. Are you going to stay there? Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. So, we have a bit of bush mechanic in here because we have a blowout on the on the uh, these are the uh, summer trainers because they've got holes in. They've also got had a blowout. Don't quite know why. So, wonderful super glue. Super glue is marvellous thing. So we'll sew that back on. No, we won't. We'll glue that back on. We'll glue that back on, but we don't seem to be gluing well. I do have some. Uh, I do have some araldite type stuff. It's interesting. Maybe if maybe I'll put it back on. My weight. <laughs> My weight to hold the wheel down. So the world slows down, you know I've had an extra cup of tea. Bit of cake. This one. Oh, we've got uh, two blowouts. Two blowouts, look, two blowouts. So we'll uh, more super glue. And uh, it's very hot out here. We're in France just now. This is French super glue. And French for super glue is. 
whatever that says. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Technical hitch. I love these trainers, they cost hardly anything, which is even better for me. It's mine from the final floor. So, we think that's it. So, we'll have a bit of a stamp and see how we go. <laughs> Don't worry, a technical hitch. Hopefully, hopefully everything's going to be fine. That's life on the road for you. It is nice and it's nice and sunny here. There you go. Lovely bit of lovely bit of rural France service station. Uh, and it's nice and sunny. And I'm going home. So, um, I think. I think, uh, I think we may have uh, just, we may have fixed this soon. See, you go on to you go on to outback truckers, whatever it's called, ice road truckers, and they have like major disasters. This is a major disaster for me because I hate spending money. I hate spending money, so. I'd rather spend I'd rather spend money on French super glue than anything else. And I'm definitely not buying any more trainers this year. I only had these last year. Jeez, I can't have another pair yet. Onward. <laughs> Morning. You join me today in Khan. We've uh, just checking our trailer. Came through it into last night. And uh, immigrants were everywhere trying to climb on everything. These are, uh, yeah, have to wear our masks here, obviously, our high But immigrants outside the port last night were horrendous. When I got in, they pulled one off the bottom. Um, they've turned the traffic lights back on in Khan, which is making it difficult for us because you have to stop and it gives the immigrants an um, opportunity to jump in. So we're going to go round and check everything. Um, hopefully there's nobody got they've got high they've got high um, fencing round here so hopefully there's nobody on but the trouble is if it gets in on into the port if it gets into the port on um, on another tractor or another trailer and then uh, gets onto mine then that can be my problem so we'll uh, we'll have a look around they are like fleas they do get everywhere. They say they pulled one off from under here last night where I stopped at the traffic lights it got underneath but uh, seal is still intact lock still on and uh, what I did recently when I was at home I've um, I've put um, arrow dice in all of the hole in, in the holes, so it can't like one in that one, one in that one, and these because what they've been doing is taking the and here doesn't look the greatest, but what they've been doing is taking the doors off and doing the hinges, taking the doors off. So uh, hopefully we're all right. Uh, can't see can't see anything underneath and uh, we'll go book on to Brittany Ferries. So all booked on, checks done again, boats in. We'll see how long we're gonna have to wait. And here we go. Just going down the link span. Um one of the first to get on which is nice. Put the uh, they put in a cup, you know. That's the back of it. That's the French and right outside. So um, 
just get on the boat. Um, Hello. So we're just coming into Portsmouth um, and some of, with some of the UK's finest warships. Obviously that's a Welsh one. No, that's an English one. The Welsh one we just passed. Coming past some of... This is a military port. So, uh, lots of rules and regulations. Still have to wear our mask. Um, that cruise ship has been there for a while. I don't know why, probably because there's no work for them at the moment. Um, hopefully we'll get off and through customs, no problem. Um, first stop is Barking with the wine. So we'll see how far we get. Beautiful day in the UK. Like I said, this wine is some funny stuff. Um, couldn't show you the first delivery point because that was in a bonded warehouse. Um, it was in it was in parking. So we're on our way to the second one, which is deepest darkest Wiltshire. Uh, this road isn't made for big lorries. Keep calling over to let the traffic pass. I did actually get out and apologise to some guy. Really sorry, I've ran them and this is the only way in because they say the other end of the road is closed. So um, it's not made for us. They have these great ideas. I think it's on an old airfield or something, and something is called. So great idea. Uh, 
show the joys. I'm sure it says Scania on the front. Clouds are massive Ferguson, like I've said before. This is the signposted up here anyway, so it's got to be here somewhere. Well. Um, another secret service type place, no filming, all that carry on, so I couldn't show you that much, wasn't very interesting, just a hangar and a forklift. Um, the guy said that this road is now open, uh, so we're going doing a building or something along here, um, so we'll go down this way, heading down to Glastonbury, we was hoping to get home but not going home now, going down to Glastonbury to load the cheese or uh, back to Madrid back on the boat so tomorrow afternoon so hope you like this one a bit longer than the normal ones but I thought it was quite interesting loved that first bit of road so I just tried to show you a bit without getting bored um, please on YouTube um, press the thumbs up give me a thumbs up thingy so it all helps my my yeah uh, feeling of people being there subscribe and press the little bell and then you'll know when I'm here again and um, have a nice day as they say in America and I hope your week goes well catch up with you next time stop staring at the rear view do you and checking your head that wheel is spun and them lights are out There ain't nothing for you back there Stop holding on so dang tight By the time you let go Well, he's a heartbreak and let you down Son of a gun But I ain't saying nothing you don't know The other day that you stop looking back You're gonna find that the future The sure beats the hell out of the past Now he ain't no good I guess he's Good as gone. The day you start looking back, girl, yeah, yeah, is the day you start moving on. Yeah. Well, that sun's gonna come up. It's gonna feel good. And after all the rain and pain you've seen, I hope you soak it up like you should. Now and then it's gonna stir. Only three and a half minutes